Hey guys, this is Odon Gaming. This is going to be another Infinite Magic Raid video. I know it's been a while since I made my, my... I cannot even speak. I know it's been a while since I made my last video, but... I was really busy because I started a new project to call so. Basically, I started a new account on the, uh, the normal games that I play, Raid Shadow Legends, and it's kind of taking up all of my time. So, you know what, it's been a while I haven't posted. I'm going to try to come back, you know, to try and post at least once every two or three days of my progress about tips, tricks, you know, things that I'm basically testing in Infinite Magic Raid. And you know what, what better way to come back to the game than with some more summons. We have the Raid up going on right now for the what are they called again the eternal sect and you know what i decided to actually go and summon for this one but i'm not gonna go all in because i still have plenty of people that i need to work on and i'm missing the you know what i'm missing the advanced skill scrolls i'm missing father like you know the usual thing the usual thing i'm missing lots and lots of resources there's plenty of people in here that i see that i would love to work on look at this down here i have double natties i have so many people if you look at my uh if you look at my what's it called my roster in general i have so many people but not enough father you know i just keep sacrificing stuff and the progress has kind of like stalled for a little bit i've been pushing a little bit some dungeons trying to get better i did work on the seal and all that but it's it's come to a point where like okay there's nothing more that i can do and what's what's next for me so i decided to you know what i'm decided i'm gonna be pulling my excellent runes because these ones are going to give me either somebody fun to play with like i would not mind the top three over here i could not mind the quinlan and the sindo a mammoth which can be a pain in the backside the other two honestly turf and it's turf right yeah turf and daria don't really care about and from for the sake of the epics nobody i care about from there like beside and maybe but i think i already have three copies of him which is all you need if you're trying to do a one shot strat so i have him at level 18 and i should have another three copies yep there we go so i already have it because what you want is for this one if you have an exclusive three he uh gives all these buffs on the target and then they go immediately so let's say you have an exclusive one margarita okay you build her with just 50 percent crit rate throw her in there actually no 40 percent because it gives 60 percent crit rate 40 percent crit rate stack her up with attack and crit damage just just actually wait a second no 50 50 percent crit rate so we just take a lot of damage and you can just one shot waves or in the arena so i already have the copies for him so anything else i'm gonna get his father but everybody else you know what a sender is still viable even though you know what for normal arena maybe it's not as viable to go with all the cc people because paulin has come out and if you have an exclusive one he does increase resist for everybody it's just a pain in the backside but you know what anybody else for me is gonna help and if i don't pull somebody that's good especially for the sake of the epics at least i'm getting fodder because i i need fodder to build up other people and continue doing a push on my account specifically what i'm gonna do but this might be for another video is i will be summoning brain Hill. as my second mythic hero i'm gonna summon brain Hill and see if i can beat stage 28 of the tower of mark because right now i'm farming stage 27 i want to see if with brain Hill, because it's a shield one and i don't have any other shield remover I want to see if I can do it with Brynhild and so that I can try and maybe farm stage 29 or possibly 30, even though that might be impossible. And the reason I'm doing that is because of, I, we have the free conversion stone, you know? So I'm not going to waste anything. I'm, I can convert her after that into Ben Austin, which kind of seems like the smart choice for me because I have an exclusive to Hezondra. But you know what? I talked about, I talked enough about this. Let's let's get into doing those excellent wishes. I have 115. So I'm hoping to hit, a, you know, an early mercy because if I do, I might get another one i'm definitely not planning to buy any other ones with diamonds or anything so if i don't hit an early one i just hit another one. Oh, triple epic one well i definitely like to see that and i don't mind to i don't mind getting people like this because we get extra points on the wish rebate so it would be nice if i would get to 200 so even if even when it comes to the legend heroes it would be nice if i get to one of you know one of these ones and then get, maybe get more of the of the epic ones because i would not mind the epic phantom dragon eyes i keep collecting these to use as uh as phantom dragon eyes for legend heroes but yeah that was a, that was a nice one can we get another one like that or can we get another legend come on come on let's see let's see let's see okay i guess that was it for the luck we got another mcguire again if it's people that are on the on the rate up i definitely do not mind he's definitely not melter definitely not on the rate up let's see okay we got an early one and i think it's justy yeah justy nothing too special about it like he has a severe wounds but that's about it i'm not desperate for for him honestly 
Come on, let's see. Normal here. Normal is pretty interesting. You want to keep an eye out for normal because she has a buff remover on the A1. So if you're struggling, if you're trying to push the, what's it called, the blue Tower of Mark, she can come in clutch against the shield boss if you don't have any other shield remover. So keep that in mind because that's why I have copies of her on my own account. Come on, let's see. Okay, now they're beside them. So it seems like I can get a ton of them. Uh, I hope I get 10 epics in, in total and a legend from the rate up because obviously I'm like I said I'm trying to hit that 200 mark for the epic phantom dragon okay he's not on the rate up no thank you <clears throat> come on come on okay double another one triple but <laughs> how can I get triple and none of them are on the rate up come on come on infinite magic rate really give me the good stuff give me the good stuff okay good start with Poseidon and another one uh, just one so it seems like I'm just gonna get 50 beside him, <laughs> that's about it. Okay, we got the Colton. Okay, Legend. Oh, yeah, because it was... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, you know what? This time around, I'm actually happy because I only have an exclusive two. I pulled one the last time if you watched my video. Now that I have the third one, guess what's happening? She's going to get exclusive three. So when she does her ultimate, she ignores the mortal, ignores damage immunity, and she, the, whoever she kills cannot be revived. That's huge for Arena. Like, she's definitely going to be my top tier for Arena right now. Damn, that's awesome. I'm definitely happy about this one. I'm definitely happy because, like I said, I've been working on her, and that's that's perfect. Thank you very much. It's not uh, one of the these ones over here, so I'm missing out on the Epic Phantom Dragon Eye, but let's say I got a free uh I, I got a free exclusive for her, so I'm definitely happy about it. Come on, let's keep going. Let's see. Can I get like and get another one? That would be awesome, but I do not think so. I'll be a hundred away from Mercy this time around. Creon. Mm, not sure I really need him on my account. Okay, Feist. And uh Maya. Mm. Lots of fodder, basically. For me, lots of fodder. Okay, another Justy. Like, what's with all the Justies and, like, the random same people? Come on. Come on. I, I, I always forget his name. What's his name? Sylvan. Okay, Sylvan. Sylvan. Sylvan Watchers, if you play Raid. And the last 10 pop. Let's see. Last 10 pop. Come on. Ooh, and it is a Maguire. Is his name again? No, Mother. Okay, so I have five more. Let me see. Let me see if there's any way I can get five more from somewhere without having to actually spend. So I can do a last 10 pop. So, uh, you know, I'll be back in a bit while I check. Okay, I'm back. There was nothing that I can get from. So I just bought another five. And let's do a 10 pop. See what happens. Maybe get another legend if I'm lucky. Or maybe not. But, you know, let's see. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hit me with an early le uh, legend. Come on. Can I get an early legend? No, that's a no. That's a no. So I get a Rosalia for the end. But yeah, honestly, I'm not too upset about this one. Like I said, because look at this. I already have an exclusive, exclusive two. So let's just get that exclusive three because why not? She also gains more stats, extra 5% plus boom. She's going to be destroying with her ultimate in arena. That's going to be huge for her. Like, I'm really, really happy. Slivella is one of those ones that I use the most in arena and in the guild boss. She's not as crazy for the sake of like dungeon waves because you need something different. For dungeon, you use people like, for example, I use uh, my Hazonja with Sigmund, CC, Castle and all that. But for the guild boss... And for the sake of the, what's it called? For the sake of Arena, like I mentioned, she's definitely staying in there. <clears throat> After people were saying like to me, oh yeah, when you when you get Ben Austin, just drop out Slavelle and, you know, keep Nicholas with Lukea, Catherine, and his own Jan Ben Austin. But I don't think I'm going to do that anymore, honestly, because Slavelle, I feel like she's huge with this exclusive three. Like, not necessarily for this one, but for, for the whole, you know, for the damage overall that she brings. So I'm definitely happy with this one. She's one of the characters that I, I really, really love. I know Veilshot loves Slavelle. I'm not sure if he already got one or not, because I haven't checked his channel in a bit. But yeah, this is going to be it for the video today, because I will not be pulling my Supremes, honestly, as I'm trying to save these for, I don't know, for something else something different i'm not that desperate to get anybody from here like i mentioned but the excellence i wanted to 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 summon because i wanted father so now i have father i have what to work on and i think i will be playing a little bit of infinite magic raid on stream as well tonight because i will build i will be building brainheld to test out for the sake of the tournament and see what i can do so if you want to join me on stream i will be live in about like two hours an hour and a half for from when this video goes out so you know the twitch link is going to be in the pinned comment in the description make sure you join me to you know have some fun with it but yeah this is going to be it for the video today guys if you do enjoy my content don't forget to like and subscribe and we're going to see each other in the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys
Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.